Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8. Snack Attack 8 back from the dead. Welcome back to more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. This is part 12. And today we're gonna kick off the very first. Why are my headphones? They sound weird. Today we're gonna kick off our first level in the second hub world, which apparently is Autumn Plains. I just needed to step out into this nice autumn air. And it was gonna, it was all that I needed to, to bring the videos on back. So, um, so if we look at the guidebook, there's, I believe there's eight levels here in Autumn Plains for us to do. And like five of them are right here in this very first area. So which one will we go to? We can see a couple from here. Well, the one we're actually gonna go to is right behind us, baby! I teed it up. The whole intro was uh, played straight just for that joke, and it soared. It was a great joke. I'm proud of it. Wouldn't trade it for any other joke in the world. Look at, what are these boneheads? What are these ice boys? What? <laughs> Whoa. Ah, uh, whew. Hey, guys. Um, oh, th threw him up. Oh man, he's just- Get out of here! Snowball, go! Well, those guys died. There's a lot of- there's so much death that takes place in those intro videos. They're just all so mean-spirited. They're all so violent and vicious. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to say something about hockey games here, and I was about to shut the, uh, shut the game off, go on another little break. What do you have to say? Oh, he's just happy. I guess this is probably, like, the quest. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. Mangy, the ice builder. I don't know about that. All right. God damn it, phone. <laughs> Um, yeah, second act eight back from the dead. Uh, the only, the reason for my absence between this video and the last was actually that I got fucking sick. Like, I got, I got wrecked in a way that I do not normally get sick. Um, I think it was the flu, though during, through the course of the sickness, I re-diagnosed it as multiple different things. Never once went to the doctor. But I feel better now. Um, the only downside was that I took a bunch of days off from making videos. And unfortunately, also happened to like be the only time since I started this project that I didn't have a bunch of videos like ready in reserve. So kinda sucked, but we're back now. There's look at this little cave guy on the on the wall. He's just like, ah! <laughs> He's just singing to the hands of his fathers. <laughs> He's a good guy. I like him. Look at this horse. This guy's like, oh, ah! running from <laughs> from the horse. This dude's. I think this dude was, was just trying to do some Princess Mononoke fan art, or maybe he had just gotten done playing Pokemon X version. And this dude. Oh, this dude's getting. This dude's a going gung ho for that. Um. Well, you know that. <laughs> is it a horse? I don't know. This is cool though. It's sort of like a. Really is a glacier, I guess, kind of level it's got a very uh, it's sort of like a prehistoric caveman kind of thing are you you won't talk to me all right so it seems like some of these little cavemen guys though they look indiscriminate some of them uh, actually are NPCs and some of them just are are frozen and need to get thawed out and I guess those ones are the ones that make the little hearts appear probably at the end Watch. We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Probably at the end of this, they'll be like, Thanks, Spyro, you saved us all! And like, I don't know. Just maybe something will happen. Or maybe they were just meant to create a little bridge there for us. Which is pretty hilarious. Can I, what, can I jump on them? Oh, I can. Hey, guys, thanks. On we go. There weren't any more gems over here, were there? Let's see, Sparks. Use your superpower. Well, there's... Oh, there's guys over here, right? Yeah. Oh, well, we need a little bit of health, so let's get... What are the... Also, what are these? Are they little snowball men? They look like, um... They look like a mascot for, like, a crappy, like, phone company. Like, not a phone service anybody uses or knows or cares about. But it also happens to have, like, a little mascot. 
like some bad text or something along with it. Or like, uh, I don't know, you don't know what I'm talking about? Eh, does it make any sense? Am I saying anything? Am I still sick? Am I trapped in the fever dream? The fever dream unending? Was there stuff down here? It looked like there was. No, there's goop. Well, no, there is something. Little swingy boys. I wonder if I can swim in that. Probably best not to try it. But, and what are you, like, big nose bunnies? This is a very odd place. There's so many strange critters. Yeah, they're like, uh, icicle nose guys. Whoops. Well, I guess we're figuring it out. I guess we're gonna find out what this stuff is. It's goop. The kind that kills ya. Oh man, it took a whole life and everything. I guess that's normally how it goes, huh? Alright. But well, we're gonna, I'm sure we're gonna need to use some kind of Spyro power, so we gotta get rid of, gotta clear the enemies out of this area. I'm embarrassed how long I spent thinking that the um, little enemy shine things were important. Thanks to you guys who cleared up why why, like, they were incomplete in that other level, in Aquaria Towers. I read the comments for that one, but I hadn't responded to them yet. I've been very bad about that recently. It seems as though on YouTube I can do but one thing, whether it's, like, recording or uploading or responding to comments. When I'm really on my game with one thing, everything else suffers. But I try to go through, even if they're a little bit old. Here's money bags. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <coughs> a small fee. I feel like you need some something warmer to wear, money bags. Those suits, especially when you're not even wearing the pants, not gonna protect you, and they're gonna get ruined out Thank in the you, snow. Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Hurricane that I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Gotta get yourself a nice coat, buddy. Maybe some Gore-Tex. <laughs> Also, why would you want a condo in Hurricos? It's just gloomy. Just a whole big old gloom bears. Oof. Unless there's some, like, some nice old spot tucked away. Maybe there's a beach there that's really nice. Gets good good surf because of all the uh, turbulence in the air. I don't know. That was Hurricos, right? The stormy land? Pretty sure it was. I think we're doing... Let's let's check out our, our stats, see how we're doing. Two orbs, which I'm, I'm okay with that. Seems like there's a lot of enemies. There's we're about halfway, a little bit less on the gems, talisman. All right. I mean, obviously there's a talisman. Two orbs though. That's fine. Let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. This is see. I'm like I know I said this. I've said this a couple times now, but I'm still just really impressed by how much better I think the like the areas themselves look in this game and Spyro 1 had some pretty cool areas but I think just as a whole there's just more going on in the general levels of this too like there was an ice cave or like an icy level in Spyro it was just like an ice cave and it had some like glacier or some like little ice stalactites and stuff like that but this one's got like dinosaur bones and it's got the little cavemen guys and just feels like it's all just much more built out what are you you look like ripto's this whole area shitty brother with creepy draclets. you might be able to help us get rid of them if you could fly oh i guess he's like a little tiki boy he's one of the one of the cavemen tribe do i have enough to activate that i almost do i'm sure how many do i have 13 Draclets, huh? I bet I can get the first couple without even flying, and then I'll have enough. Can I get you? I'm sure I can get you. Yeah, there we go. And you too? Does, do, they, do they count for my... No, they don't count for my total. Well, never mind. Oh, I see. I guess these guys are part... There's probably a whole course that I go through. Those guys are like either the beginning or the very end of it. So we'll have to come back for that. Onward, I guess, uh, uh, over the bone bridge now, we'll go. It's kind of unfortunate. It's definitely a bummer that I did have to do a little break for this project because um, sometime, I don't, I'm not sure if, I guess it'll be next week now. Sometime next week, there is 100% 
going to be a new project starting. It's um, something that I've that's been in planning for a long time. I think everybody's gonna like it, um, unless you're just like totally against anything but this happening right now. In which case, you'll not like it because it will happen. Um, <laughs> I think everybody's gonna like it, but um, uh, I had really wanted to be almost done with this LP by the time that started. Which is why I was really trying to make moves towards just keeping the episodes up, and I was doing a good job. Everything was coming out fast. And then I got sick. But such is how it goes, I suppose. Such is how it goes, I suppose. I don't know. Stuck in the glacier, feeling the snow. <laughs> now we're gonna go back and do this flight minigame. Whoa, whoa, this, that's, was that not the way, did I, oof, I thought that was water and I just phased right through it. Isn't, is this not where, oh, I guess it was back through here then, I guess, right? Yeah, did I, oh no, I gotta kill the, all those guys again, ugh. All right, come on, snacko. Take a little time off and you're getting sloppy. Though I guess I should have known that the enemies never stay dead when you die. I haven't died that much though in the project. It's been pretty fairly smooth sailing. Probably only now is it gonna start getting tougher because we're getting into second world levels. Or second second uh, hub stages, whatever you wanna call it. Whatever assortment of terms suits your fancy, you know what I mean. Wow, we are almost dead too. Fortunately, there's a bunch of these little snowy guys around, but yeah, now that we're, we're getting somewhere in the game, it's probably gonna start getting a little more challenging. I don't think, I don't, I can't see how anything could ever be harder than hockey, but maybe, maybe, maybe just somehow that'll happen. All right, but I do think I just wanna try this right now. Um, and it, yeah, it looks like a little uh, shoot 'em up course. That, um, oh yeah, we can jump back into flight mode. I don't, is it supposed to be timed? Like, what is, I feel like I could have made it through a lot of this. Well, no, because I, I can't make it through this part, that's why. This part is not something I could do if I uh, didn't have the flight power. But now we've looped back around, like, did I miss some? Did I miss one? Oh, you? Was it you? Oh, I, I, did I do it? Saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. I feel like I did mess that up. <laughs> I actually, feel like I didn't do that the right way because I must. I feel like I must have missed one. But I guess if you go back through, you can just take out ones that have respawned, and that counts. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to watch that back. Maybe I did it right. I don't know. Something about that felt off. But we got the orb, so that's all that I care about. Onward and up. Looking at the map, it seems like we've covered a decent amount of ground already. So I don't foresee us going that much further. The only thing is, I'm still missing a lot of treasure, right? Well, no, we're getting close to 300. It seems like this game is a lot less, um, Reluctant to shell out uh, big value gems too. Augie, what do you got, Augie? Are you gonna open that thing up? Oh, he's gonna push the snowball down. Like heave ho! Knock out those bokoblins. They never saw it coming. You think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. <laughs> all right. So I guess he didn't have the hockey tickets all along. That's kind of funny. Well, I never want anyone to go to the Colossus Hockey Arena anyway because I hate it, which means everybody else should not be able to enjoy it either. That's the way that you should live life, ladies and gentlemen ruin good things for everybody just because you don't like them. There's gotta be something up here though, right? You don't have a challenge or anything for me? Huh. 
Well, where's the other orb? Oh, yeah, there's an area over here. <laughs> I did notice this. I was like, oh, there's some bones over there. Some rickety bones. These are actually some pretty sturdy looking bones. They don't look rickety at all. Is this... Oh, yeah, it's a gold. What are we looking at? Yeah, there's still a lot left. But here's probably where the uh, last I orb lost is. My pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draclets. I feel like a snow leopard is probably the apex predator in like whatever area you're at. I think he's fine, dude. In fact, he may be stalking you right now. So, you—it's your back. I'd be watching, not not some draglets, draclets. Oh, there he is. There's the snow leopard. He's kind of cute looking. What's this little hole? Oh, it just hurts. <laughs> Here's another ah, guy. <laughs> this guy's like, come back. I just want to watch Princess Mononoke. No. <laughs> no. It can't be true. Oh, there's a fish? Maybe I have to, like, lure him over with the fish. Is he, is he waiting to hunt? Will it jump out again? I don't know. I might as well collect the gems. Let's see. So here he is. He's, he's going. He's going back that way. Can I, like, flame him or something? Charge him? Oh, so he's trying to hunt for fish, eh? Well, I can help you with that. There you go. Eat the fish. He is, he's kind of cute. How are there snow leopards in this world, but there's also hunter in this world? Is that some kind of divergent evolution kind of thing? So I guess that's the quest here. We just have to help him fish. That's kind of cool. I like it. Better than that other fishing game. That fish game with the, with the statue mouth. Was not the biggest fan of that one. See, 50 gems left? I'm thinking there's gotta be some kind of weird secret area. All right, man, are we? Are you done? Done fishing, you just ready to come home? Will you follow me? Will you set me free? All right. Yeah, it looks like he is. Can I dash? Whoa! <laughs> Will he just run super fast? No. Just at a little nice little walking speed. Well, come on, leopard. Hopefully, I don't start looking tasty like those fish did to you. Just walk him on home. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. What, how did he catch it? What did he hook on to? Who cares? Fortunately for me, everybody in this game has the only thing that I want, which is orbs. But, we still have treasure to find, so let's bust out our Sparkinator. Our Sparks locating device, or whatever you would call it. Get him fed first. It looks like he's pointing down? There's is there treasure down here? Treasure through the waterfall? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe down, maybe there's another way to go down here. Let's see where he's pointing now. Yeah, he's, he's pointing that way. Now where? Yeah, I feel like it's gotta be on this, this path. Well, we don't have to kill these guys anymore. We can just fly through here. Sparks is still gonna show me. Hey, right, here we go, here's some. Are you high value? This one right here, too. Now, let's see. Yeah, we still got about 30. So, I'll continue on my way. Yeah, here's some more. How did, how did I not see these beforehand? I guess I was so focused on taking out the little drachnids or whatever they're called. And now, it looks like... Now, it kind of looks like he's pointing up. Can we fly out of here? It doesn't look like it. There must just be some more up this way. Probably some little alcove or something I just didn't see. Like maybe up here. 
Eh. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Now I, I could have sworn I went around here. Back here? Sparks? What are you showing me? Oh, there's one. Oh, well, I, I guess that was it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, da, da. <laughs> Just a really off-key thing. All right, and that's it for Crystal Glacier. We, I forgot we still have those, um, let me save the game real quick. I suppose we can. I forgot we still have those, like, I think it was like 10 or so gems left in Autumn Plains 2 to get. And claim the, claim the, the castle in the name of Bone Boys. <laughs> Always! They're, they all died. That guy's he's like, oh, suicide, eh? Tragic. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we did it. Yeah, we still have a, a, like a tiny little spot of treasure left to get in Autumn Plains. But I think, you know, as we go through the levels, I'll probably just round it up that way. Um, so I'm not going to sweat it looking for it right now. I actually think that uh, we're just about done with our episode for today. So just how I like to do it... Um, you know, just get get a level done in one video, knock it out, and run the whole length, and uh, that's what we did. Uh, I will destroy these this frog population. You'll die too for no reason other than, well, he that guy that guy uh, kind of he kind of he held on. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just, I don't know. I just wanted to be full health. I like yellow sparks. He looks the best c along with Spyro's purple body. I think. What am I talking about? Who cares? Into the pool. We're gonna chill down here. And in the next episode, maybe we'll jump out, take on that level over there. Till then, guys, I've been SnagTech8. Thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next video. Later.